The character Auntie Mill Abrams started 25 years ago. I was doing, that's when I started my stand-up comedy routine. And one night I just took a little dookie out of my pocket and I put it on my head and the character Mill Abrams was born. And now here we are, well, more than two decades later, on stage at the Baxter Theatre and Auntie Mill has her own musical. It's the third installation of this much-loved musical. This time around, it's called Auntie Mill, Things Get Real. It's a storyline that's a true reflection of the title. Tell him not to park on the grass patch in front of that face brick house. Uh, the things I wanted to bring out in this one, um, you know, uh, firstly there was the, we, we definitely wanted to let people know that we know that so many people have gone through loss and I'm not only talking about the tragic loss of life but people have lost their jobs and with that there's a loss of income so people have lost their homes as well and then um, I have people very close to me who um, you know they've um, in, in the world of drugs and took and the abuse of drugs and I just feel that not enough is being done about that in fact you know, I, I, I go to the point of sometimes thinking that the authorities turned a blind eye to it and look the other way. Dennis Abrahams, played by renowned actor Royston Stoffels, has been married to Auntie Mill for the past 30 years. He's been there from the very beginning. Um, Mark always says, when I, when I came to the audition, I came in on a walking stick and he said, there's Dennis. <laughs> so the rest is history and I've traveled along with it. To have met him and to have experienced his humanity, his friendship, his warmth and his abounding talent. I, I said to him the other day, I'm just so privileged to be in his company. But what is a musical without all the bells and whistles? Um, I'm the choreographer on the production. For this one, I'm also the production resident. I've been involved since the inception, so Auntie Mill the musical, Auntie Mill It's a Girl, and then Auntie Mill Things Get Real. Um, it's been an incredible, magical journey from the get-go. Um, I mean, just being involved in the production and with a cast like this, dynamic, stellar cast. Um, yeah, and it's just been so amazing. And working with Mark and with the, with the text, the script, um, every time when we bring a mill to the, to the stage, it's the, scr the script is just so fresh and there's just so much weight in, into the words and there's just so much memory also into the words that, that, that's written into the script. This show and, and the previous Auntie Mills as well, it, it's, it's really, it's about a team, otherwise it won't work. I am working alongside the most phenomenal musicians and actors and that's that's the thing. If they were not here, the show would not be happening. I mean, I could, I could stand on my head, it wouldn't be happening. So that's the in, an integral part of it. I've got the best director in the world, Lada Foot, um, who literally has been shaking the world with her stuff. And because so much of it is set in the Cape Flats, we need it to be treated with such tenderness and with such care. Because in the wrong hands, it can go horribly wrong and very stereotypical, which is where we don't want to stand. Um, and then Anwa, my partner and husband, produces the show. Every night, five days a week, a now empty theatre looks a very different picture with fold-out seats since opening night. Proof that Auntie Mull has certainly crept into the hearts of many over the last years. Tanya Neft, Phile Se, Cape Town. <laughs> yeah.